Um, hey there, uh, this is Brad and Mike from Dallas Geek, and we are coming back with our seventh video. Sixth. And, sixth? Sixth. Sixth video in our convention series. We literally just talked about this. I think you said the other one was the no, sixth. No, the other one was... God, you people see what I have to deal with. <sighs> anyway. Um, just, just go. <laughs> just go. So... This topic should be relatively quick, but it is definitely something that needs to be addressed. Um, if you are a photographer or a videographer at a convention, whether um, as a hobbyist or a professional or uh, just somebody that likes to take video or pictures uh, of places you go, things you do, whatever... Um, there are a few things that you need to know going into a convention. Um, number one, it is perfectly acceptable to take pictures or video of most everything in a convention. Uh, as long as you are polite about everything, as long as you don't get in anybody's way, as long as you're not offensive, um, it's usually fine. There are a few things that are, are maybe not in the best taste to do. Um, like, for example, getting uh, pictures of uh, certain artists' work uh, without their permission. If you're going to get, uh, especially if you're going to be an artist alley uh, and you just see a lot of different things uh, that you like, but you don't necessarily want to buy, uh, and you want to take pictures of uh, the different things in artist alley, mm -hmm. ask permission. Mm -hmm. um, and if you're going to be posting those pictures, um, please, as just an additional courtesy to the artists, um, try to grab the a business card of the artist so that you can find some way to tag the artist or their page or website uh, on your picture so that you can you know give them proper credit right. and it's not just oh this is a cool thing I saw but yeah. you're, you're you're showing courtesy to the artist that actually took the time to make that piece of art right um, also if you're going to be taking pictures of cosplayers um, ask permission. Yeah, I, there are certain circumstances where it is okay to just haul off and take a quick picture as you're going, a quick snapshot. But usually, asking permission is preferred. Otherwise, it, it's just a little weird. Yeah. Um, I mean, now granted, if they're already stopped to be posed for like ten other people getting pictures of them. Yeah, sure. Go and jump in uh, really quickly. But if you're just if they're just walking by you um, and you want a picture of them, don't don't just you know very quickly go to the side, and, uh, get a quick shot of them, and then walk away. That yeah. ask permission. You know, take take the time like you would any other um, photographic subject uh, to you know just let them know you want a picture of them and don't yell it from like forty feet away. Oh, know? like just go up and just be like, yeah. hey, can I get a couple of quick pictures? Yeah. Then they're like 90 to 95% of the time they are more than willing to. Yeah. yeah. Whether you want just a picture of them or right. you want a picture of you with, with them. them yeah. Um, just ask. Uh, it, it's going to make life easier. And if you are, uh, hopefully if you are a photographer as a profession, um, you already know that. Right. But just in case, uh, especially for the hobbyists, um, please just remember ask permission uh, uh it, it makes things easier um and then there are certain areas of the convention where you just shouldn't take pictures like for example um the media guests uh because most of them do usually have some price attached to right. getting a picture with them or of them um they don't usually like random people just trying to you know, uh, raise their camera above the crowd and uh, pop off a quick shots of them because that's just awkward and very much so. Frankly, in certain cases, rude. Yeah. Um, if you want to ask when you're in line uh, to get an autograph with them, if they have not already had somebody tell you no pictures, right. uh, it's okay to ask then and see what uh, can happen. But once again, to just 
try to get a picture without asking. Uh, if you're not even in line, that that's definitely uh, don't do it. Yeah, um, and they and they'll they'll have it posted like no usually, photography yeah. or like usually they're they're um, I don't want to say handler, but I think it's usually their, their agent or an assistant that's with them. Yeah, uh, you can usually, usually ask them assistant. like, hey, is it okay if I get a picture? And if they're not sure, they'll just straight up ask. Yeah, whoever you're in line to see. Yeah, um, <laughs> and the other big thing um, that goes hand in hand with the more. Um, prevalent uh, style of uh, convention photography that you see online, especially associated with uh, cosplay uh, for photography and videography. If there is a specific cosplayer that is going to be at a convention uh, that you want to try to do something special with, you, you want to get uh, get them for a, a specific photo shoot or you want to uh, pull them aside for you know a couple minutes to uh, get some specific poses for uh, a video montage that you're doing of the convention. Um, that, that's the kind of thing that you usually want to contact them ahead of time yeah. about so that they can plan for it. Don't go up to them at the convention right then and there and just say, uh, hey, do you have a few minutes for a quick photo shoot or uh, whatever? That that That's not usually something that they're very fond of. And you, you it, it's just a matter of being considerate at that point. Um, if, if they're if they're in the area, you could always approach them about it for a later date at the like. Hey, like I'm a yeah. big fan. Like, could we set something up maybe down the road? Yeah, yeah. Um, it's a good way to do it. And I mean, uh, especially the more popular uh, cosplayers will be open to it if you know if you already have examples of work that they can look at to say, oh yeah, no, this is somebody I want to work with. Yeah. Uh, or. And, you know, you are polite about it and not coming across as demanding or expecting that, oh, because I'm a videographer, because I'm a photographer, they should just want to work with me. Right. Yeah, it, you know, uh, work with them like you would any other client, uh, work with them like you would just any other person that you just really want a picture with mm-hmm. uh, or of and uh, you know, go from there. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that that's really – those are the big, uh, big things to consider. Right. Um, Every now and then you will uh, be able to, you know, have some other things that you want to get pictures of, uh, other things you want to get video of, and it, you know, that's cool. Um, just remember, conventions are usually, uh, while they look well lit, uh, they may require a bit more lighting. So if you're going to use a flash, right. Um, warn somebody yeah <laughs> don't just uh pull the flash out and sh- you know just flash in their eyes that that's that's just not cool yeah and if you want pictures from a q a panel uh no flash yeah no that 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 is actually incredibly mm, distracting excuse me. so that's uh the only time where flash is categorically unacceptable yeah. and whether you're doing video or photography so just please 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 be considerate right so yeah that, that's as long as you just follow those guidelines as a photographer or videographer you're usually going to be pretty say you fine. should be you're good, good. Yeah. you're good so um yeah with that this is brad mike from dallas geek saying see you